Okay, everyone, we are truly camping in the middle of the Serengeti. When I say camping, well, this is more like glamping. So take a look. Yo, yes. yeah, this dining hall right here. Oh, it's ready? Wow. Oh, so awesome. look at this. Full thing, full bed, full night. Serengeti, right there. The only thing between the animal and us is that zipper. That's <laughs> it, that zipper. Yeah! So, you worry about sleeping at night. We got hyenas, lions, tigers, bears, or mines. We got everything. So. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good morning, everyone. It is day number six or seven. I lost count, but we're out in the middle of the Serengeti, as you can see. We're getting ready to uh, take off because we're going to go do a hot air balloon ride over the Serengeti. That's sunrise on the Serengeti. We just got here, and there is the hot Ooh, air balloon. Oh my gosh, me too. It's and a 16. Very these are the fire teams. There's the hot air balloons. Unbelievable. Back in 1783, somewhere nearby France Palace, the Mongolfia brother, their father had a paper factory. One day, they were burning some pieces of papers, and some of the papers were rising up from the sky and go up in the air. So they had an idea of if they build something like a paper bag and catching that smoke because they were believing the smokes are the ones that rise those uh, piece of papers up in the sky, then maybe one day they will be able to fly up in the sky. So this is super cool. I've never been in a balloon ride, so I'm having all kinds of a crazy emotions. I'm excited, I'm thrilled, I'm scared because the captain just came and told us, by the way, that uh, you know dragging when you land is kind of normal <laughs> and you take off laying down in his seated position. Oh, what's they called? Astronaut position. Super cool. So we're going to check this out and uh, see what happens. But uh, so far from what I can tell, this is going to be a super dope experience. Yeah, but I had it. Their father had another idea and tell them because we are living nearby the king, the King Louis XVI, then it's a good idea if you go and ask him a permission to have a balloon big enough to carry a human being. So they go to a king, they talk to a king, and the king said this is a nice idea. And November 21st, the king announced that we're going to have a, a meeting and we're gonna make a history in the aviation industry. <laughs> okay, kids, we are airborne. That's that thing right there. We're airborne. Here we go. Check this thing out. Oh my god. There it is. That's your 360 view. There's a bird flying right below us. Mm -hmm. Little eagle. Beautiful. What's up, Holmes? <laughs> okay, here we have a whole pool of hippos. <laughs> we just flew over a hippo pool. It's insane. Totally cool. This is how you guys got to experience the entire Serengeti. Check it out. There he is. That's good. Never flown in a hot air balloon before? Gotta tell you, super amazing <laughs> experience. Have to do it. Absolutely one of the most silent, unbelievable things you'll experience and yet overwhelming to the senses. You feel everything. All right, so it's been an hour and five minute flight. So here's the deal, we're getting ready to land. It's kind of like being an astronaut. You just kind of come in and you get kind of landed until you land. So this will be interesting to see how this goes down. So we're filming on the GoPro in slow motion and we're filming this one. So here we go. Check it out. <laughs> okay, we're ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. Touch the ground. Yeah. Woo Free African massage. African massage. African slicker and gay massage. Oh, 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 that was a lion. We hit a lion. Sorry. 
That was a gazelle. <laughs> wow. We're still moving. How does he do that? That's amazing. I think we have touchdown. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good landing. Yeah. He said he won't be able to fly by himself. Then he called his best friend, Martin Dalla. They come in front and say, we are ready to fly. But remember, this balloon, they were believing like the smoke is the one that make the balloon to fly. So they were supposed to cover themselves with a mask and have a long stick with a wet cotton on the top. In case if the balloon catches on fire, they can be able to extinguish. The flight experience is very nice, but then we need to working on landing. Of course, when we land all the time, we will have a problem with the land owners. And the king says, no worries, I have another idea. Whatever you be landing, now you have to carry a champagne with a label, with a flag and my name on it. Just in case you land, you show them as a peace offering. You can see now in the Serengeti National Park, we have so many landowners. The zebras, the lions, giraffes, those are the landowners. They don't drink the champagne, then we're gonna drink all the champagne on behalf of them. Yay. All right, this is a small story about when did the balloon uh, started. Right. Thank you so much. <laughs>